Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Lincoln Sports Complex for today's first North Atlantic Conference semifinal between the number four seed University of Maine at Farmington Beavers and the number one seed Husson University Eagles. I'm Ryan Barnes, joined alongside Jacob Ouellette. And before we get things started, on behalf of us at Husson University, I want to, uh, we want to extend our thoughts and prayers to those affected by the tragedy that occurred in Lewiston, Maine this past week. But we should be in for a pretty good matchup between the Beavers and the Eagles. Beavers coming in at a one and 14 record, one and three in conference. Huston coming in at seven five, four and zero in conference. And we're just about ready to go. It's going to be the Beavers starting off going left to right and the Eagles will be attacking right to left. And that's gonna be Tiana McDougal. Just about ready to start things off. We're just awaiting the whistle now, and we are underway. With it right now is Paris Howes. As, he sh as she comes across the sideline and sh gets into the possession of an eagle. Tessa Capazzoli will get out to Merch. Merch on the inside. Coming towards the side is Perkins and sending it up towards Tegan Blackie as that one rolls out of bounds. It will be Beaver's ball. This one sent in Howes on the, on the attack. As there's a foul, it'll be Husson ball. It'll be Howes with the foul. Merch with it at about the 30 yard line on the football field. She sends it in and that's going to roll out of bounds for a Beaver's possession. Please excuse us for the first bit of this game. The sun is pretty much directly into our eyes, so please forgive us if we get some names wrong. As Maddie Perkins goes right into the circle, she takes the backhand shot, and that one's high, and be Blackie with the rebound. And with it now, Perkins again. Her shot is in. One to nothing. Just a minute, almost a minute and a half into this one. And the Husky University Eagles find themselves up one nothing. And we resume play. going to be Tillotson on the goal, assisted by number seven, Tessa Capazzoli. And with it coming up the middle now, and finding the stick of a beaver as they attempt to clear, that one's out of bounds, is going to be Husson Ball. It'll be Merch on the sideline as she sends it in. With it now, Elizabeth Kendall, who played a pretty big factor in the last time the Beavers were here at the Winkin Complex. With it now, Leah Pushard gets it up to Tegan Blackie. Blackie down the left side, she cuts inside. She's looking for a shot, she takes it, and that one is going to be called as a dangerous shot. It will be Beavers' ball. Up the side, that was Haley Capano. And that's out of bounds. Carly Ramsdale will take it for the Eagles as she sends it in. Dance around as Tillotson as she looks to try to get through a couple defenders as she does. Works her way towards the inside. Pass to Capazzoli is no good and cleared out of bounds. It will remain Husson Ball and Ramsdale will take it. from about the five yard line on the football field. 
And that one is cleared away. And now it's taken back, sent inside. Hassan looks to restart their attack. Up front, a couple of bounces landing with Hassan. That one's tipped off of, looks like it was Tegan Blackie. As the Eagles find themselves up 2 nothing now, just three minutes and 30 seconds into this first quarter. Yeah, as we've seen throughout the whole season with the field, with the Husson field hockey team, they get off to hot starts early. They like to get goals on the board early, and they like to have a bunch of net front presence, and we see that again with this second goal. Again, with the sun, my eyesight is not the best as we await the public address confirmation on who actually scored the goal. It looked like to me up here that it was Blackie. And it's going to be Julia Murch on that one. Cabzoli sending it in. And coming in is Tillotson. It's on the left side. She tries to center it, and that is off the stick of Blackie and out of bounds. This one's sent up right into the stick of Capazzoli as she comes around the center, and that one's poked away. But a foul is called. That one is on Allie Bliss. And they're going to say, instead of Bliss, it's going to be Capazzoli with the foul. Beavers will come with it. The attempted clear by Casavant is no good. And the Eagles will have the ball at the 35-yard line. This one sent in by Merch up top to Allison Drew. Drew sending in to Ramsdale. And Drew tries to center it. And Huston with the chance blocking in front of the net. And a foul's called. And University of Maine Farmington will have possession now. Foul will be called on Farmington's Gabby Vincentson as Capzoli will come in, get it out. Two looks like Perkins as a foul is called on Morgantown for Farmington. It's going to be Perkins in trying to center it. That is right off of the pads of Ella Grant and out of bounds off Husson's stick. And we will go the other way. Gabzoli in a fight for it. That finds a Hassan stick and centered as that one's taken away by Emma Woolley. Chasing up the side is Vincentson. As she's dancing through a couple defenders and has that taken away by looks like Ramsdell and Hassan looking to restart their attack. But that one's intercepted by Kazavant and a foul on Hassan and Farmington will start their attack as they cross the midfield line for the first time tonight. Casavant trying to send it or center it in to Howes and coming away with it is Husson and a clear attempt by Merch is off of Howes and out of bounds. Husson will maintain possession now. And that one's sent up. Fighting for it now is Emma That was Elizabeth Kendall, excuse me, but Husson will have it now. Maddie Perkins cutting through the circle now and centering pass. And that one's out of bounds. Husson's getting their chances. They convert on two. But great job there by Ella Grant, freshman goalkeeper out of Sturbridge, Massachusetts, to stand her ground on that one to keep the lead at two. This one's sent in. And a penalty corner is called. Arsenal was fouled. And we have our first penalty corner now for the Husson University Eagles. We've seen a lot of times throughout the year. This is where the Eagles get most of their offensive chances is on penalty corners. 
last game against Wells, they had a whole bunch of chances from penalty corners, and they capitalized on a lot of them. Hudson closing out their regular season in a win against Wells College. And a win over the Express. This one's centered in. Here's Perkins. She takes a shot and out of bounds. But that will be off of a Beaver. And Husson will keep the ball. As they'll continue their attack. Merch trying to center it in. Arsenal in front of the net. She pokes it and scores. Maddie Arsenal, great heads up play. Sees the ball in the air. And swings her stick like a bat to get that one in and three nothing the Eagles lead. Beautiful hand-eye coordination there from Maddie Arsenal. Saw the ball in the air. And she just took a swing at it and she connected. She put it in the back of the net to get, increase the lead to three. It's gonna be Arsenal. On the goal assisted by Julia Merch. As the Beavers find themselves the furthest down the field they have been. And Husson will take it the other way. Looking to get another rush in. They for sure coming up the middle. And she stops, turns. That's Amanda Frost, excuse me. She sends that one in off a stick. And, and there's a foul, looks like, on Frost. And Farmington will take it the other way. Fighting for it is Arsenal as she draws a foul. Husson will keep the ball. It's going to be merged with it at about the 10 yard line. She cuts in and, and working through a couple defenders. Gets the ball through with the now is Maddie Perkins. And we have a penalty corner for the second time today. So for the second time in just under a minute and a half, two minutes, Husson will have another chance off a penalty corner. It's going to be Phoebe Carlock on the insert. She is on the right side, far side from you guys on the broadcast. That was lifted by Crummit. And Crummit again, she tries to center it. And after a couple pokes, and that one's away. And another penalty corner will be called. And it looks like it's going to be Carlock once again on the insert. This one up to Perkins. Perkins draws a foul for yet another penalty corner. Beavers unable to get the ball out of their zone. Three fouls inside the circle resulting in now the third. Penalty corner in a short while. Huston unable to convert on any of them so far. And that one right through the circle and recovered by Frost as she sends it in. And that one in front of the net, that's Arsenal taking a shot. And that one rolling out of bounds off the Huston Eagles and the Beavers will take it the other way. This one's sent up and out of bounds. Husson ball. They're going to say that's off of. Looks like that was Bailey Kazavant who poked that one out. This one's out of bounds. Beavers ball and intercepted by Arsenal as she tries to send it in. Working through Kendall. Centering pass. No good, but it gets out to Merch as she works her way into the middle. And after a couple bounces, 
A penalty corner is called. But quite a few chances in that little scrum right in front of the net. No goal, but we do have a penalty corner. Very good composure there from Ella Grant in the net. Usually when you see so many chances like that build up and build up, you kind of like lose composure. But there she kept calm and she made great save. And this one's sent out. Here's Arsenal. She tries to shoot it, and that one's out of bounds. And the Beavers will take it the other way. This one sent in off a couple sticks, and a foul will be called on Husson. And the Beavers will take it. And that one's out of bounds. The Eagles will take possession. This one's sent in by Merch. Now Perkins with it, cutting into the middle, working her way through a couple defenders. And she shoots that one off of Grant's leg. And they're going to call out of bounds off of Husson. Beautiful kick save there from Ella Grant on the shot. Grant through 15 games, boasting a 64% save percentage while allowing 106 goals through those games, an average of just about seven and two thirds. As that one's sent in, we have another penalty corner. And there's no shortage of chances for the Eagles, Jacob. Yeah, absolutely. If you're the Beavers here, you wanna stop giving the Eagles so many chances on penalty corners. This is where the Eagles like to make their money on their offense. And if you continue to give them chances, it's gonna bite you one of these times. So far, no goals off of penalty corners. Here's Arsenal's shot. That one's kick save by Grant. And the rebound shot. Second, third chance, fourth chance, and finally on the fifth, and that one's in. Four to nothing, Husson with 2.36 to go in the first quarter. Here we just mentioned that the Eagles like to get their offense going on penalty corners. There, there's your first. There's their first successful penalty corner of the night. It might be a good idea to keep an eye out on that and see if they can continue to build off of that. Center of the field now. Anna Zimmerman starting the offensive attack for Farmington. This one sent to the sideline and sent up by Kazavant in the direction of Abby Hansen. That was taken by Capazzoli as she's working her way through a couple defenders, has it taken away by Kazavant. And a foul will be called, looks like, couldn't tell if that was either Capazzoli, Merch, or Baker. As Avery Baker checks into the game for the first time. And this one's sent in. The pass to Hansen was no good and taken away by the Eagles. Merch. Trying to send it up, has that intercepted by Kendall. And that one's taken away by Capazzoli. She has some space. She's working away on the right side. Centering pass is poked away. And she'll get the rebound to the second shot. And a foul's called on Husson. And the Beavers will take it the other way. Farmington will take it on the far side. This one's taken away by Avery Baker, who rushes in. Works her way through and scores. Avery Baker taking away, doing it all herself across the net and poking in on the left side of the goal. And the Eagles lead 5 to nothing. Beautiful look there from Baker. She has all the pressure coming in. She's all alone. She beats Grant, the goalkeeper and just puts it in the wide open net there to increase the lead to five now. And 
and the Eagles are doing exactly what they've been doing all season long, doing what works, what got them the first seed in this tournament. Less than a minute left. It's going to be Merch on the right side, trying to center it in. And that's taken away by Kendall and sent up. That's Merch dancing around Zimmerman. Gets up to Crumman. That's poked away. And being sent up. And the pass to Hansen is all the way up the field and out of bounds. Husson will take possession. About 30 seconds to go. Bouchard will send it up. Has that taken by Kazavant. Kazavant. A little touch and go. And sent all the way up the field. Foul's called on Capzoli. With it now is Winter Adams, as she has that taken away by Crummett, who goes up the right side of the field, working through a couple defenders, gets it up to Tillotson. As time will expire in the first quarter, Husson leads University of Maine Farmington 5 to nothing. And we're back from the Winkin Sports Complex. Ryan Barnes joined by Jacob Ouellette. As the Huston Eagles lead the University of Maine Farmington Beavers 5 to nothing as we start the second quarter. And we will get things started at the center with Tiana McDougal. As we are underway in the second. That's going to be Kendall setting it up towards... Looks like Vincentson as the foul is called. Husson will take it the other way now. Husson will keep the ball. And that's sent in to Perkins as she tries to get through a couple defenders, and she does. Looking in the corner. That's Tillotson centering pass, and the shot from Perkins is whiffed and recovering it. On the left side is Blackie as she tries to center it, and that's taken by Merch. Merch into Blackie as she misses again, and that one's sent out and will stay with Husson. 
Merch trying to send it in, gets it back to her as she works her way around. And that's sent in. And the shot, two shots by Frost, no good. Second one, a foul called on it. And Ramsdale will come away with that one as she comes in through the center, trying to get that in. She had numbers. Hustin will keep the ball. With it on the 25 is Maddie Perkins as she's going to work her way across a couple defenders. That one poked out and recovered by Ramsdale. She centers that. And the Eagles will keep the ball. Perkins sending it up and out of reach of Ramsdale. And the Beavers will take it. It's Elizabeth Kendall now poking that one up past Bliss. And that one right into the stick of Perkins as she gets that out to Ramsdale. Ramsdale. With the pass down after a couple sticks, it's taken by Perkins as her shot is saved by Grant and out of bounds. Hustin dominating offensively and defensively, not really letting Farmington get some, any chances so far as Hustin will keep possession. With it up top is Perkins as she gets it into Merch. As it doesn't look like the officials were quite ready for that one. And they will restart. Here's Perkins. Perkins sending it in, and that's wide left. With it now, Emma Woolley looking for an open team out. She sends it down the center of the field. That one pass a stick of Bouchard and finding McDougal, who get who has house. And that one is poked away. As Gazavant sending it in, intercepted by Perkins as she will send down the field to Lauren Brown. Brown coming around the right side. She has space. Centering pass, Frost, Blackie scores! <laughs> Lauren Brown coming down the right side, centering it, couldn't tell. If Frost got a stick on that one, but Blackie eventually was the one to poke that in. And the Eagles lead six to nothing. Beautiful play down the side of the, side of the field on the far numbers. And the ball playing back into the middle of the field right in front of the net. Perfect right there for a tip in goal. Blackie with her first of the evening. And with the way she plays, that will that probably won't be it. As yeah. Merch comes down the side. Yeah, she had 13 goals in the regular season, just adding to her continuing on more goals putting up in the playoffs here. as you're gonna give the assist to Perkins on that one. The sun cursing us yet again, Jacob. Oh yeah. But it's nice, nice having 70 degree weather in the state of Maine. It has been pretty cool lately. Uh, this, this weather is a relief, but now I'm kinda over it with the sun directly in my eyes. Oh yeah, of course. And that one played with the high stick by Blackie. It'll be Beaver's ball. Taking up the side and losing it was Howes. And dancing around her is Perkins as she gets her way through. Fouls called. Looks like on Amanda Frost. And Zimmerman will send it up to Howes as she's in a fight with Merch. And Merch will commit a foul. And the Beavers will take it the other way now. Coming down the side is Vincentson. 
She's doing a little zigzags up the field, still has it, trying to work around Pushard. And still with it. She cuts towards the center. Worked her way through a number of opponents before finally getting that one poked away by Pushard. And that one's up to Blocky, who gets tripped up. They're going to say on her own feet as that one is intercepted by Perkins as she's working her way through the center of the field. Right through two defenders. And looking, through, looking to go through some more as she enters the circle now, taking the shot, and that one is in. Maddie Perkins, a 50-yard goal there as the Eagles now lead 8 to nothing, 7 to nothing, excuse me. Moving the lead to 7 now. Maddie, Maddie Perkins had 10 goals in the regular season, so she's just adding on to her, her goal total for the season, including playoffs here. And we see back-to-back -back goals from their two top goal scorers in, in Blackie and Perkins. As Farms and looking to get something quickly before this, get, this gets too out of hand. Not even halfway through the second quarter and Eagles lead seven to nothing. And that's Hope Richard now coming up with it. Past midfield that's poked away by Bliss. That one's taken away by Drew and sent up the field. Calpazoli with it, but a foul's committed. And it'll be Beaver's ball. And now the Beavers now with a chance. It's going to be Howes who loses it. And that one's sent up by Drew up to Crummit. And a foul will be called on Allie Bliss for Farmington. As working her way up is Crummit. That one. Is out of bounds. Beaver ball. Working her way up the sideline now. Morgantown. She's triple teamed. And a foul's called on Husson. And this one is in the corner. And lost out of bounds. And the Eagles will start their attack all the way down about 15 yards from their goal. And now the pass there is intercepted by Casavant and sent back up, but intercepted by Drew as she takes out to the sideline and up to Carlock, who's working her way down the sideline. And the centering pass. And with space now is Avery Baker as she worked her way to the corner and now looking for an open teammate potentially to pass to. And that one's poked out. It's going to be Merch. Merch has that one taken away. It's going to be Paris Howes coming up the field with it. Foul called on Merch there. And Farmington will continue their attack as that one's tracked down by Allison Drew. For clear, she didn't get all of that on it, as there's a fight now for it, but Drew eventually comes away with it. And trying to work it up the sideline, that doesn't go far. A couple changes in possession right there, but eventually came away by Howes. And now it's Merch. These teams playing hot potato as that one eventually rolls out of bounds. It will be Farmington ball. Just over five minutes to go in the first half. And the 
this one's in. Vincentson has it taken away. And Husson will start their rush, chasing it down now towards the side is Avery Baker. As she looks to get through Zimmerman, and she does. And she takes a step back, trying to center it. That one looking like it's off of, looks like Capano. And with it now, it's Vincentson as she's working her way through, trying to save that from going out of bounds, but it crosses the line. Hope Bouchard now coming in, trying to take advantage of the space she found. That's out to Baker. Baker centering. And that one's poked out. Baker again, looking for space. As she was unable to find Bouchard, that one sent all the way up down to the 40 where Pouchard will recover it. And that's down to Perkins. Perkins now trying to get that up to Bouchard. Ramsdale's pass is off a couple players. And this one's centered in. And that one working its way through the crease and eventually out of bounds. And that will be Beaver's ball as the, the clear is intercepted. Now Perkins with it. Gets up to Ramsdale coming down the right side. Ramsdale has it taken away, but a foul's called and Husson will keep the ball just past the 10 yard line that's sent out to Ramsdale. Ramsdale trying to center it. Baker with it, trying to send that one in, kick save by Grant. Bouchard centering that one and that one's out of bounds, looking like off a of beaver and Husson will keep the ball. Farmington clears intercepted by Perkins. And working her way through the middle is Ramsdale. That one sent all the way in and wide out of bounds. As Farmington will take the ball as we are just over two minutes away from the first half in this first North Atlantic Conference semifinal. And a foul's called, looking like on Hope Bouchard. And they're going to say it's going the other way. As that one settled down to Pouchard, this being the first semifinal between Hudson, Umaine, Farmington, and SUNY Morrisville and Thomas College will play in our second game. Both Jacob and I will be on the call for that one. And that one's out of bounds. Minute and a half left. It's Ramsdale on the sideline. That one's taken away. Up the field by Hanson. Hanson trying to get it up to Adams. And that one's taken away. And we're trying to work her way through the field is Ruby Kitchen. Kitchen all the way up to Baker. Baker now working inside. Through a couple defenders. And a penalty corner is called. A minute and one second left to go in the half. And it's going to be Phoebe Carlock on the insert. Carlock. That went into Bouchard. Bouchard shot in the in the center. And that's going to be Carlock who gets that one in right off the rebound as Husson leads eight to nothing. Phoebe Carlock off the rebound. 
Right there, that's the definition of being at the right spot at the right time. Got the rebound off of Grant's leg and it went right back to her and she put it in the back of the net. And it's going to be Bouchard on the assist. Bouchard now with it. Centered to Perkins. Perkins will send it out to Ramsdale. Ramsdale sending that one all the way down. And that will go as Beaver Ball. As we pass the 30 second mark, as Hustle looking to get one last attack in. Fouls called on Hudson, and we will go the other way with it. Ramsdale intercepts it from Bliss. Trying to center it to Merch. Or Carlock, excuse me. And a penalty corner is called with just 6.7 seconds to go in the first half. And this is truly the one last attack chance for Hudson. It's going to be Carl Locke on the insert. Carl Locke inserting. That's sent out. And the shot is off a couple bodies and eventually saved as we go into the half. Eight to nothing. Hassan leads Humane Farmington.
And we are back on the Winkin Sports Complex where Hudson leads University of Maine Farmington eight to nothing as we come back from the half. It will be Hudson with the ball. And we got a note in the uh, comment section that Ella Grant is two saves away for 200, so we will keep a lookout for that one. A foul is called on Hudson's Rory McGinley as the Beavers will start their attack as they now will attack right to left, and Hudson will go left to right. Looks like the sun has finally peaked its way back behind the clouds, so we should have no issue telling who's who as Vincentson works her way into the corner, has that taken away, and trying to send it up was Annie Jackson. That's off of Bliss and out of bounds. And that one's up to Crummit, working away, runs into Boyver. And out of bounds, Beavers will take over. Boyver trying to send it in. And unable to corral it is Vincentson as Husson will start their first attack. It's Carly Ramsdell here on the right side. Has that taken away by Vincentson. But a foul's called. And the Eagles will keep the ball. And that was sent all the way down the other side of the field. Chasing it down is Hope Bouchard. Picarello right in front of her as that one hits her. Turning, trying to center it to Brown. And Farmington and Elizabeth Kendall. Trying to clear it out, but that's taken away by Hope Bouchard. As she turns, gets it up, and the shot is, is wide. And the Beavers will start their attack. Husson with it on about the 15-yard line. They retreat and try to restart their attack. And a foul is called. Looks like it's on Ramsdale. And Ramsdale will bring it up, up to Crummit. Crummit trying to work her way through as she runs into a defender. Kendall, who has been all over on the defensive side pretty much all season for the Beavers. With about 60 yards to work with, Morgan Town will take it. Doesn't get enough on that one. That's taken away by Picarello. Picarello turning, looking for an open teammate. She finds Lauren Brown, who's trying to get around Kendall. As they're starting the rush, she turns in. And that's taken away by Town. And coming up the left side is Gabby Vincentson, freshman out of Bristol, Maine. Four goals and an assist on the season as Allison Drew will take it up the left side of the field. A little give and go. And Kendall is there to stop that attack. Fouls called on Husson. The Beavers will continue their attack. And it doesn't seem like Hassan is really playing with as much intensity as we saw opening the first half. Uh, this could possibly be just trying to waste time and just try to focus on tomorrow if you're able to come out of here with a win. Yeah, absolutely. We saw in the first quarter they, had pu they put up five and then they started to slow down a little bit when it came into the second quarter. And now here we got another kind of a slower start to – from what we're used to from the Eagles. But as you said, you want to kind of make sure you secure a win. And if you do secure that win, you make sure nobody's hurt for tomorrow. Exactly as Annie Jackson is fouled as she will restart at the 30-yard line on the right side, looking to center it. But that one is, that was off of town. But Perkins will take it in. The pass to Brown is off the mark. 
and saved from being out of bounds, but the clock will stop. As Farmington had a player down. Couldn't quite tell who it is. But she looks all right nonetheless as Huston will restart their attack. As the centering pass is tipped and back behind the net. Working her way, trying to get through Bouchard was Morgantown as the Eagles will continue their attack. Bouchard up to Picarello as that one's out of bounds. Hassan finally getting their first couple of chances of the second half. They've come pretty close, but it has been the Beavers' defense shutting them down. Brown out to Picarello, and that one is Emma Woolley on that one, but that's taken right back by Husson, centering pass, and a penalty corner is called. Couldn't quite tell who committed the foul, but is going to be Elisa Picarello on the insert. As the insert is in, it's Bouchard. Out to Drew, Drew off the heels of Bliss and another penalty corner will be called. And it's gonna be Picarello on the insert again. Picarello up to Perkins, now to Drew. Drew shot. Right off of Bliss. And the Beavers will keep possession. I have felt a field hockey ball, and I cannot imagine that hitting you at any speed feels the best. Yeah, they they look like little, like, nice little bouncy balls, but they are rock solid. And they do not feel good. And up the left side is McGinley. Working her way up. Get it. And the centering pass, and the shot. And that's wide again. Couldn't quite see if Grant got anything on that. But the statisticians up here are saying wide. So that will not go down as a save. 198 still for Grant. On the left side now and out of bounds. Hassan turns it over. With on the side, Zabby Hansen, sophomore out of South Paris, Maine, two goals on the season. She tries to send it up town, losing it to Brown. And now Hassan looking to get their attack. Coming up the middle and down to the side. They have some space, trying to get it up to Perkins. Perkins loses town as she goes down the right side, challenging Kendall, loses her, trying to shoot it, and that one's wide. As Ramsdale has it now, crossing the 20 into the circle, centering pass to Crummett. And that one's kicked away by Grant. And a foul's called. It's going to be Husson with a penalty corner. Alyssa Picarello on the insert. 
And that was save number 199 for Ella Grant. That one's up to Perkins. Perkins down to Drew. Drew up to Bouchard. Bouchard working her way down the side. And that one saved. And another penalty corner is called, and that is save number 200 for Ella Grant. Congratulations to her. As the Eagles have a chance for, they have a chance to add a ninth goal. Picarello shot. Oh, that's Crumman, excuse me. Drew off the rebound. Her shot. Is no good and sent wide. Huston will keep possession. And that's Drew. Drew down to Ramsdale. And that one's taken away by Vincentson as she challenges Ramsdale, trying to work her way through. Foul's called on Ramsdale. And Vincentson will keep it. She'll elect to give it to Bliss. Bliss loses it. And unable to get it was Crummit. But setting up the field is Vincentson. And that'll find the stick of Rory McGinley. McGinley up to Bouchard. Bouchard now trying to work for it. As she crosses the 30, gets fouled, and will continue her attack. And that's Bouchard trying to center it. And a foul is called on Husson, and we will go the other way now. About four and a half minutes to go in the third quarter. As the pass by Willie is out of bounds, and we'll turn the ball over to Husson. Working with it now through a couple defenders. And that one's out of bounds. Starting with it on the 25 yard line. Does Perkins get to Bouchard? And a foul called on Farmington. And Husson will restart their attack. Going down to the corner is Perkins. Perkins trying to cut through. And her shot's off of Kendall. Crummett trying to, or Ramsell, excuse me. Turns out Jacob was in the sun. It's just my own eyes deceiving me. We can still blame it on the sun. Yeah, of course. Natural causes. And it's Picarello. And starting now from the right side. She gets that out to Brown. Brown trying to work her way through a couple defenders. She does. Draws a foul. As Ramsdale off her stick and out of bounds. And it will be Beaver Ball. Ramsdale on the side. She's working her working way through a couple of defenders. Pass inside. And that one's back to Ramsdale. Ramsdale trying to shoot it, and it works its way through. And a foul is called on Husson. And the Beavers will take over. Penalty corner for the Eagles. It's true. Through the legs of Perkins to Bouchard as she tries to shoot it, and that's tipped. And it's scored by Lauren Brown off the shot. And the Eagles extend their lead to 9 0. As we mentioned throughout the season, and especially the last couple of games, that front presence is what has been 
great for the Eagles so far in his last couple games. And there again, we see a tip in goal. That one is intercepted by Capzola. She draws a foul. And Bouchard with her second assist of the night on that goal by Brown. And Husson starting that attack a little prematurely. Working the side is Perkins. Trying to center it. And a penalty corner is called. Couldn't quite tell who the foul is on. But it's gonna be Picarello on the insert. Bouchard takes a shot. And I think that was off the post. That bounced back pretty far. It was definitely a weird redirection. Couldn't quite tell what actually that hit off of. But Hassan will keep the ball. And working away in the middle, taking the shot. Crumb in front, and no goal. Called on that one. Great job by the Farmington defense. To stand up on that one. Pass intercepted by Ramsdale. Ramsdale now has some numbers, trying to center it. And Picarello trying to center it now. Multiple shots, nothing coming. And that one finally taken by Bliss. And another foul is called on Farmington and we have yet another penalty corner for Husson. 20 seconds to go in the third quarter. Piccarello on the insert, gets it up to Perkins. Perkins over to Capazzoli, Capazzoli taking the shot. And that one out of bounds. Ramsdale was there on the corner, couldn't poke it in. And it looks like time is going to run out here in the third quarter as we enter the last 15 minutes to play. And Husson leads Farmington nine to nothing.
Back here on the Wicked Sports Complex. The final 15 minutes of this game. As Huston leads Farmington nine to nothing. They will start their attack here. Capzoli working it through, drawing a foul and a penalty corner. Huston with yet another chance to extend their lead, this time to 10. It's gonna be Lisa Piccarello on the insert. That one's in. Out to Capazzoli. She takes a shot. And that one's saved. And that one gloved away. Is that considered a glove save or a paddle save? It's not really a glove. I have no idea. Um, For simplistic, simplistic sake, we can call it a glove save. It's covering the hand, we'll call it a glove. And Perks in the shot, uh, draws the foul, looks like. And we have yet another penalty corner for Husson. It's gonna be Piccarello once again on the insert. She gets that out to Capazzoli. Cabzoli's pass and shot is wide. That was Allison Drew on the shot there. That's wide and sending it up the field. Emma Woolley as that's taken away by Merch. Merch to Bouchard. Bouchard trying to work her way through and recovers the ball. And that one eventually taken by Lindsay Boivere as she gets that to Capano. Uh, Vincentson, excuse me. Vincentson lifting on that one. And in the fight for it, fouls called, looks like on Perkins. And that one sent up, intercepted by Drew. And all the way up the field. It's going to be Piccarello with it as she starts the rush. As Bouchard in the center chooses to work through herself, draws a foul, works out. And the sent in. And another foul is called. It's Merch with it from Perkins. Merch trying to send it in. Off a stick and sent out by Bliss. And working her way through his merch and a penalty corner is called. And Husson has a chance to extend their lead to double digits. Alyssa Piccarello inserting on the right side. Closest to you, those watching the stream. And the shot by Bouchard, poked in. And that finds the back of the net. And the goal will be scored by Tessa Capazzoli. It's going to be Alyssa Piccarello on the assist on that one. In Farmington now is Paris Howes trying to get it in to Vincentson. Vincentson's trying to work her way through a couple defenders, gets it up and finds Kazavant. After a struggle is taken away by Perkins and the Eagles as they start their rush. Piccarello to Perkins. Perkins working her way through, has Kendall on her. Stops, turns, tries to center it. And the shot by Louder is blocked away. And trying to chase it down is Allison Drew. Drew now gets it into Merch. Merch sending it all the way in. 
finding the stick of Louder. Louder shot is right across the front of the net and out of, not out of bounds, but saved by Ramsdell. It's into Bouchard. Bouchard centering pass to Louder. She whiffs on that one, and that's going to roll out of bounds. Time starting to tick down on Farmington season as we just pass the 11 minute mark. That one centered in and blocked away and taken up by Kendall. And a foul's called on Hope Bouchard. And Kendall will send it all the way down as that one's recovered about 20 yards away from the Husson goal by Maddie Burns. Bouchard sending it into Ramsdale. Ramsdale has people in front. It's Louder. Louder trying to send it in, and a penalty corner is called. And Huston will have another chance. It's going to be Picarello on the insert. Picarello into Louder. Louder shot is off a stick and out of bounds. And they're going to give it to Farmington. No, they're going to give it, they're going to, give it to Hudson because why would I be right? <laughs> Entering now is Perkins as she works right through a couple defenders, sending it in. Juicy rebound and score by Ella Louder. Right off the rebound, the shot from Perkins. And it's 11 to nothing. Beavers now with it. Kendall sending it up. Louder scoring her first goal of the season. No goals in the regular season. And House will have it at the 40. Trying to work her way through is Vincentson as that taken away. Here's Ramsdale up the side. And that's taken away by Kendall. Trying to work with it now was Winter Adams. Here's Ramsdale up the 30. Fouls called on Bliss. Here's Bouchard now. Working her way through. And a penalty corner will be called. A foul called. Looks like it could have been on Ali Bliss. This one's sent in. Here's Drew with it. Drew shot. It's going to be called Danger Shot. And the Beavers will have it. Eight minutes to go now. Foul on Bouchard. And that's taken away from Howes by Bouchard. Into Ramsdell. Ramsdell working her way through. A couple defenders, has space, takes a shot. That one's wide right. And 
and the Beavers will start their attack. Off a couple sticks and losing out of bounds there was Burns. And Farmington will start their possession from the midfield line. It's Allie Bliss. Sending it in to Howes, trying to work her way through. That's off of Ramsdale. And that's right into the stick of Perkins. Perkins now singing all the way up the field in the direction of Picarello. And out of bounds. Coming down the sideline now and losing it. That's Kitchen with it. And that one's sent in and out of bounds. They're going to say out of bounds clean. And Farmington will take possession. This one sent all the way down the other way. Chasing it down was Johnson. And Huston will start their possession. Oh, that's Johnson, excuse me. I think I might need glasses. That one's up to Bouchard. And that one's taken away by Kendall. It's Merch with it, sending it inside. Coming around with it is Crummit inside to Picarello. She takes a shot. Crummit with it off the side of the net. Taryn Crummit almost burying her third goal of the season. She scored two within the final weekend between one game against the Beavers here and the following day against the Wells Express. Here's Ramsdale with it. And a foul is called. They're gonna say it was Crummit on that one. With now it's Bouchard. Bouchard looking for an open teammate and finds one. And the center there is no good and taken up the field by Farmington by Vincentson. Foul is called on Bouchard. Four minutes to go, just over. And that was out of bounds, will be a Husson ball. Bouchard with it with 40 yards to goal. Drew with it. Here's Merch. Merch. Into Drew. Draws a foul. Husson will keep the ball. And here's Bouchard with it. Centering pass. It's no good. Taken away by Willie. Working with it in the corner. Here's Perkins with it. Trying to center it. And we have a penalty corner with 3.04 to go in this matchup. It's going to be Picarello on the insert. This one's sent in. And a foul will be called on Crummit as we're under three minutes 
remaining in this one. And that one's out of bounds and will be taken by Hassan, who at this point, Jacob, will just look to waste some time. Yeah, absolutely. You're in the, the final 230, and I believe that with all the confidence in the world from everybody on the field for Hassan, they believe that they can hold, they can continue to just kill some time and continue to get good opportunities without actually needing to go 112%. The shot is wide, and the Beavers will take it the other way as we are now approaching the two-minute mark. This one taken up and sent in. A penalty corner looked like it was... Right off a of beaver. Picarello will be on the insert, 146 to go. With the now centering, poked in, and no. It was Ramsdale there on the side, unable to convert that chance. 90 seconds to go in this matchup. Bouchard now, coming around the right side with it, enters the circle, centers it. And that one is out of bounds. <laughs> and Ram still with it. That's right off of Boy Bear. Vincentson trying to come up with it. Less than a minute to go as we're approaching 45 seconds. And now Husson and Matty Burns here will look just to waste the remaining time on the clock. Here's Allison Drew with it. And we're working our way through a couple defenders. Still looking for some chances are the Eagles as they draw. A penalty corner, likely their final of the game. 24 seconds to go. It's going to be Picarello on the insert. And that one's in. And centered. And poked away. There's a fighting for it. Another penalty corner. And now this one, most likely the final one of the game. It's going to be Julia Murch on the insert. Here's Perkins. As we pass the 10 second mark. Ramsdale's shot. That one centered in and out of bounds as time will expire. And the Hudson University Eagles find themselves in the North Atlantic Conference Championship game. And that will end the season for the University of Maine at Farmington Beavers. And we'll be back in about just about an hour as we call the matchup between the SUNY Morrisville Mustangs and the Thomas College Terriers. We'll be right back here on the Huston Eagles Sports Network.